Hi, in this lesson we're going to learn how to place the Sente citations that you've made in, inside of your research paper using any word processor of your choice. The steps involved will be actually copying the citations, putting them in the paper, and then using Sente to insert reference marks, they're called tags in the Sente lingo, and put those tags where you want them. And then finally we're going to scan the document using Sente and Sente will generate the right formatting for your paper. And almost the right formatting, I should say, because there is a little bit of cleanup involved until we get to a further lesson where we specify the exact formatting that we need. So let's head over to Sente and we're back at our first article and I'm scroll at the top so I want to grab my quote and here's a good place to show you the source function. If I click on that it jumps right down to where my quote is. I'm going to click on copy and that puts the quote into my clipboard and I'm going to switch over to a document that I've set up in pages. You can see it's a finely written research paper of my own. And I'm going to go ahead and hit paste. And that goes ahead and puts the clipboard contents into the paper. You can see that the gray text that I'm highlighting right now, that's the actual quote. This top bar, this top part is a, um, a header, but we're going to use that page number and put that inside of the the Sente tags next. So I'm going to put my insertion bar right after because that's going to tell Sente where to put the citation reference. And back in Sente, go to the upper right and click on Cite. And you can see it put in curly brackets EL2012. And I'm going to bring this. 38, which is page 38, and I have to insert the at sign and then 38, and then I can get rid of this header. We're done with that. Now, my paper demands another quote, so I'm going to go back to Sente and Click on another article. I'm going to repeat the same steps over again. I'm going to copy, go back into the article that I'm writing, and paste. One thing you notice is that sometimes PDFs have a little hyphen that a word was broken because it was doing justified columns. and that hyphen actually becomes part of the text even though the author didn't write it that way. So I'm going to clean that up right there and then put the insertion bar where I want the Sente reference to be. Go back to Sente and click on Cite and it puts in Yen 2012. Yen is the article's author of the second reference I'm placing in there and I want it to be at page 318. So I can delete that header. The last part of the paper that I have to set up is another set of curly brackets and it says curly bracket bibliography. And that's where the article references will be placed. So I have my first quote, my second quote, and bibliography. So I could go back to Sente now and at the top right I'm going to send all my references to a word processor and scan the document. That brings up the scan document dialog. Everything is pretty much exactly where I need it. I'm going to hit scan. It shows that I have two references in the paper. I'll hit save and open. 
and notice how it's replaced curly brackets with APA style formatting. EL is the only author of the first quote. Remember before it only had Yen in curly brackets, but now it brought over the three authors' full names or their last names in leaves page 318. And then one last thing I need to do is break the two references at the end. And I now have proper APA style formatting. In another lesson we'll learn how to fine-tune the formatting even more so that we don't have to clean up the bibliography with a line break. Thank you.